What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video today I'll be giving my honest opinions of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I just played it at COD Next yesterday I have a huge list of things we got to talk about so let's get right into it Let's start with the pros things I liked about the game things that I'm happy they brought back or are just new and feel really good So let's start with most importantly the time to kill the time to kill felt amazing It's not like MW 2019. It's not like uh, MW 2022 or 2023 it just feels good like it doesn't you don't kill in two bullets it actually feels like there's a little bit of a gunfight it's not just someone instantly dies it also doesn't take too long um but you definitely have to hit like four or five maybe even six bullets to get that kill and that's something that personally and some people might not agree but i like when the time to kill is longer because that showcases who's more talented at shooting straighter for a longer period of time rather than just whoever sees each other first getting the kill and another big thing that I'm so excited about for public matches is that map voting is back. Yes, you can vote for your favorite maps to play. That means if Rust and Favela are an option and everyone in the lobby wants to play Rust, everyone votes Rust and you get Rust. It's not just random where they just give you the map and you really have no choice to decide. So that's awesome. Moving on to the movement. Wow. The movement feels really good almost too good like the the maps and the floors feel like butter you are sliding around the map you are able to do so much the slide is actually really long too like it's not like a short slide like you can slide for a really long time and i'm gonna be of course uploading some videos how to slide cancel when it is time to do that and a bunch of tips and tricks but yes the slide cancel is back the slide cancel is incredible um you can honestly slide cancel by just sliding and uh pressing your ads button and it automatically stops your slide and you're ready to go they also added like the tactical slide thing where your gun turns to the side and you're kind of hip firing but it's like it's like aiming in but hip firing uh it is really accurate so movement's definitely back feels very fluid and smooth um the visual recoil for the guns is also very good right now it just feels like there's not like a lot of recoil kind of reminds me of the old mw2 game way back when with the acr had no recoil the ump barely had any recoil and um it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out because it it looks appealing like the gun's not bouncing a lot then again it can depend what you put on your weapon if you put uh more attachments that have less recoil you're not gonna have much but if you put more weapons or more attachments that are for ads speed or sprint to fire speed or uh anything like that you might have a little bit more recoil but overall compared to other cods this game has a very low vis visual recoil um and let's talk about everyone's favorite thing aim assist yes dynamic aim assist standard linear are all back in the game and there's actually a very interesting setting where you could change from zero to 100 how strong the aim assist is like that how strong the slope s curve response thing is uh that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out this year i'm excited to get my hands on that more and actually test that but um yes aim assist is not as strong as past call of duties it's still good it's still strong but it's not like how in the last couple games it would literally just aim for you um so take that as you will but like i said it's still going to be good aim assist with the controller is still going to be good i'm sorry to all the mouse keyboard players out there that have to hear that it is still good but it doesn't feel as strong as the last game but we'll see how it plays out when the full game releases and uh, moving on to one of the most important topics in call of duty and what makes a Call of Duty game essentially is the maps. The maps are beautiful in this game. Um, they look so good. The colors are amazing. Like it feels like a, a Black Ops 2 arcade shooter where like everything just looks so vibrant. It's beautiful. Um, and that's one thing that Call of Duty is missing in a lot of games. Like the, some, ga some games and the maps will be very dull. They'll be grayed out. And they just want, doesn't make you wanna like play and have fun. Uh, whereas this game, like it looks good. You want to run around. You want to have fun. You want to play it like it feels like a good old arcade game. Not that realistic thing that Call of Duty has tried to go for sometimes. But let's be honest. Call of Duty is not a realistic war game. No one's 360 trick shotting, 720 trick shotting in war in real life. No one's slide canceling like that consistently. No one's snaking like that, at least that quickly consistently. So I'm happy they're going for more of an arcadey feel because that's what Call of Duty started as and that's what it should be. Um oh my god i completely forgot about this till now snipers are back yeah snipers are back you probably saw it on the stream um there was a sniper i forgot what it was like the carbon fate or something it looked like an ak-47 when you got the kill but it's like a one-shot sniper with 25 bullets in and i think chests above kills it's so good like there's gonna be so many montages like 
it felt like the old school mw2 days everyone's just running around sniping and you see like the glint on the sniper but by then it's kind of too late because you think it's like i don't know it's so weird because when you get killed by it, you thought it was an ar at least when i first died by it and i was like dude that ar just killed me one bullet i watched the kill cam i realized it's a sniper and there's gonna be a lot of montages back so if you're a sniper competitive sniper player you like to do montages and trick shots sniping's definitely gonna be back and uh last but not least for the pros before we move on to the cons and things i'm kind of concerned about about the game the perk system is pretty awesome um i really like it it's gonna be cool to see how it plays out with like the tactical boots the gloves, all the other stuff, because there's some boots that make you run faster and make you mantle quicker, some that make you climb quicker, uh, others that will help your ADS and strafe speed if you're an AR player. So there's a bunch of different stuff, and uh, it's going to be fun to really like dive in and mix and match and find out what perks are the best for certain game modes like Search and Destroy, Hardpoint, Public Matches, Private Matches, all that good stuff. But the perk system does look better than we had in years past. So it's going to be fun to see all the new stuff they have added. But... I was praising the game a lot. Those are the pros. But with every game, there's going to be some cons. I know I tweet out every year that this Call of Duty will be the best COD of all time. But this is my honest opinion. So we got to get into the cons right now. One thing I found very weird was there's no stun grenades. There's flash grenades. Um, and there's like EMD grenades or something like that. But there's no stun grenades. I think the last Call of Duty where we didn't have a stun was Cold War. I don't think we had stuns in Cold War. And it was just flashes, which kind of weird because in every cod usually there's a flash and a stun from the beginning of time um not the biggest of deals but just something that i noticed and was like kind of like huh wow i wonder why they did that so i wonder if they'll give us more clarity on why they made that decision um next up is another movement based thing which is the bunny hop the bunny hop is not that good some people might be happy about this some people might be upset about this personally i like when there's just more movement involved in the game where you could slide cancel you could snake you could bunny hop well actually not snake snake is not good but like you know what i'm saying you can move around the map uh the bunny hop definitely just feels like you're kind of stuck in the mud it's not as impactful as in other cods um so we'll see if that gets nerfed if it gets buffed but what do you guys think do you guys want b hopping bunny hopping jump shotting to be more uh prominent in this game or are you fine with it not being used too much because it could be used to jump around the corners and break cameras uh it could be it should be a very useful tool but it does not seem that good like because you're kind of just slow when you are landing and you're not able to just like keep hopping 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 compared to like some old cods um let's also talk about the maps again i said they were vibrant i said they're great but the thing is many of you probably did play the old call of duty modern warfare 2 whenever it got related what was that 2010 2011 something like that um I was playing it way back when and we all loved and enjoyed those maps the thing is they're all in this game there's no other maps in this game yet it's just the base mw2 match which is great and bad in certain ways the reason i'll say is great is because we've played a lot of recent call of duty games let's be honest they might make one or two good maps and the dlc maps they bring in of the old maps are usually better than the ones they make so i'm kind of happy they made or they just brought the old maps back because we know at least a few of them are decent um whether they be good in tdm search and destroy hard point domination uh that they're, they're, we know they're at least decent um we don't have to like rely on some new map they made and kind of just like uh okay this is gonna be tough especially on the competitive side of things because when you have to pick the maps that are gonna be played in uh the pro season the cdl it's tough when the maps are all so bad so we know some maps are decent but they did say they will be out, uh, adding some fan favorites later on in this game so I'm hoping for like a London docks. A London docks from World War II would be incredible. But yeah, it's kind of weird that it's only just old maps, but we'll see. Hopefully they are pretty consistent and they add new maps um, to have us play. Cause I mean, we all already played these maps for years. So we kind of want to see some new ones as well. Snaking, snaking is still in Modern Warfare 3. You're able to lie down fast, sprint out of it. And pretty much it's hard to kill you. Um, I don't know how just how strong is going to be just because this game feels very heavily movement based right now um, Which is kind of a good thing to maybe counteract snaking But until we play the real final full game, we won't know just how good snaking is but you could definitely do it I'll definitely be doing some tips and tricks videos on it to show you guys how to do it and When we have more playtime on the game We'll see just how overpowered it really is and how much it will affect the game and now this last point right here is probably my biggest concern not only for pubs not only for professional competitive play but it's the spawns if you guys were there to play mw2 back then in pubs in pro play you knew that it was very easy to spawn trap 
you are just stuck there's really not much you can do when a team knows how to hold you in a domination spawn trap um it's very easy you're stuck in the back building of scrapyard you're not going to be able to move you go out one one doorway one window or another doorway and you are just trapped so that's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out i could see some backlash from the casual community because when you're getting spawn trapped is not fun when you're doing the spawn trapping it is fun um so i can see them being mad about that and then moving on to like the competitive side i could also see the maps are kind of small for hardpoint we didn't have hardpoint back in the day so i really don't know how they're gonna play in hardpoint and even control because we didn't have control back then either we played demolition search and destroy and ctf um so yeah it's it's gonna be weird how hardpoint plays on like per se a scrapyard or a terminal or a high rise uh it's gonna be very interesting to see i don't know how it's gonna be yet um once we get more time on it in 4v4 environment it will we'll see but right now pubs are 6v6 so everything in 6v6 feels more and more chaotic and with how fast the movement is it's going to make the maps feel even smaller so we're going to see when that day comes but uh yeah that's my honest opinion so far on modern warfare 3. personally i think this game has a ton of potential a lot of the warzone creators are even saying multiplayer feels much better than warzone and i agree with their uh with that their statement um so i'm really excited for this game and I think it's gonna be a very good cod i think it's gonna be a very good enjoyable cod so i will say i think you should purchase it you should buy it maybe check out the betas check out the streams if you have a ps5 come play it or even the pc betas in the following weekends but lots of potential with this game i'm excited to see what they do and sledgehammer truly seems like they care so i'm hoping they can keep that up throughout this game and you know we can have some fun but that's my honest opinion of the game i think you guys should get it i think it'll be very good i will see you guys in the streams and other videos thank you all for watching as always my name's attached and i'm out peace